like the title says, we're out here mining with ASICs. That's right, you read the title to this video correctly. I have been mining Flux with ASICs. Shut your ass. No, no, Raj, this is no trick. And that was wildly inappropriate. So check this out. This is a mining pool that I found called Zerg Pool. Z-E-R-G and then pool. And it is a profit switching pool or uh, mining, you know, setup that uh, you can mine using your equipment on whatever algorithm it's designed for and get paid out in a different coin. Kind of like a, uh, like a nice hash where they, they rent out hash power and you get paid in Bitcoin uh, or what's that? Unminable is the other one where you can mine whatever your equipment can mine and you get paid out in something different. Maybe that's not a mineable token. Well, I took advantage and started mining script algorithms with some Antminer L3s that I got for stupid cheap. Might as well uh, put them to work and see what they do. This pool requires no registration and no KYC. Let me repeat that. No registration, no KYC. But take that as you will, I guess. Uh, they support many different payout methods, but they'll pay out in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Raven, ETH, USDT, Dash. Those are guaranteed payout coins. There's other payout coins that you can get paid in that aren't guaranteed, but I didn't have any problems getting paid in, uh, in Flux, like I said. So here on their main site, zergpool.com, um, by the way, this is not sponsored by any pools or anything. It's just me making a video. Big list of algorithms here on their main page. Script is the one that I'm specifically looking at, and it is ASIC mineable. Like it says up here, we've got CPU, GPU, ASIC, and FPGA. Bunch of information here. Um, go check it out at zergpool.com. Got instructions on getting started with GPU mining, ASIC mining, um, and it's, it's pretty simple to get started. So let me start off by saying, of course, this is not financial advice. You do you because you do you. But um, so I mined script algorithm using two uh, Antminer L3 Plus uh, ASICs for three days in a row, actually, multiple multiple days in a row, four days in a row. Uh, day one, I mined one ASIC on the pool and one ASIC in solo mining. Second, I mined uh, both ASICs on the pool. And then the third day, I mined both ASICs solo so I could see what type of uh, yield I would, I would get from doing this. Now, it's, you know, early October 2022. Ethereum's gone proof of stake. Uh, mining profits are way deep in the toilet right now and uh, the idea here is not necessarily to be profitable as you mine but to get you a couple of moon bags or more and it will eventually be profitable kind of thing that's that's my thoughts on it at least what happened let me show you how I got started here um, at zergpool.com their main site here you have a little bit of information about it, um, the pool status on the different algorithms that they host, getting started. So minor command line generator, this is what I used to input into the ASICs. Put in your region, I'm in North America, put in your algorithm, whatever you're using, if it's GPUs, if it's ASICs, FPGAs, CPUs even, you can <clears throat> use this. Where are we at? So I did, mine was script. Payout currency, I want to get paid in flux. Then you would put your flux wallet address here. I don't know what that is. You could put a worker name and you can choose regular, you know, pool mining, solo mining, or party mining. Don't really know what party mining is. I didn't look that much into it. 
maybe I should do that and make it another video if we're interested here. So hitting copy gives you this big long command line. And if you've ever mined on Windows with bat files, you'll notice that this looks pretty familiar. But when you're mining with ASICs, things are a little bit different. When you plug in your ASIC, um, typically DHC, DHCP uh, is enabled so it collects an IP address from your router or switch firewall, whatever. Hmm. I don't know that one. No one asked you. Um, so you put in your IP address at the URL at the top of your browser, log into your ASIC, get to your management screen. Here is where uh, you see the configuration stats on uh, on what we're doing here. So this ASIC I set up with um, Hivon firmware. So, so logging into it may look a little bit different than what you have, but this is where we're at. So we take this big long information that's spit out here. So what we're gonna do is take this, this whole URL here, yeah, including the port number, copy it, paste it where the URL goes in the minor config screen. Uh, under worker, that's where you're gonna put your wallet address. And the last piece here is going to be how you want to get paid out. So C coin equals flux, ID, identification of the worker equals worker name, whatever you make your worker name to be. So if you want to get paid out in something different, you would you would not put flux there, but it automatically populates that based on, you know, I want to get paid out in ETH, changes that to ETH. And whatever you input for your worker name here, that's it. And then you hit save and boom, you're off to the races. What happened next? So we start off here in day one. Okay. Uh, day one started both machines in the evening, 9 30, 10 o'clock, something like that. Ran them overnight and into the next day. Um, now, both of these machines, as you saw earlier in some of my past videos and stuff, are in my bit cave. Uh, solar powered solar power augmented mining shed which can get pretty toasty when the asics are running so there's a few hours here somehow that the solo asic was overheating a little bit and constantly rebooting before i noticed and had to change the settings to force it to push through the heat so Day one, it looks like we got a grand total of 0 0.63 flux worth mined between a pool miner and a solo miner. And this is kind of cool. So we can see here, this was the, uh, the actual miner that was being used uh, for mining script. The average hash rate here for each of the ASICs. And... Um, the different algorithms or the different coins that were being mined with this algorithm. Two hours later. All right, that was strange. My machine freaked out on me. Uh, anyway, here it's pretty cool to see the uh, different, let me zoom in, where's my zoomy zoom? Here we go, that's better. Um, this is pretty cool to see that the different coins that are using script, uh, algo, and how much hash rate on a shared mode or normal you know pool mining is being used at, uh, at that time or at at this time per algorithm or per coin based on the, the miner you know what the fuck i'm trying to say here i'm freaking out anyway shared mode solo mode so you can see that digibyte is using quite a bit out of both of these um these asics at the time it was mining so because it's a profit switching, um, it's gonna it's gonna automatically point to the most profitable coin that's required at that time. Um, and then this is a screen breakdown that shows the different blocks that are pulled uh, or that are that are found and your share of it and things like that um, at the time that you know were mined. So, uh, but the the whole point of this is here uh, day one we earned 0.64 flux. So keep that number in mind.
All right, so on day two, day two was mining both ASICs poolside. And uh, it was a little bit cooler outside, so everything ran a little colder as well. Looks like uh, day two mined 1.08 flux in a day. Different blocks found by the miner, of course. Nothing is solo. It did this last column here at type is um, outlines if it's solo or not, if it got a big, well, I'm not mining solo on this day, so it doesn't matter. The doo -doo -doo -doo, different algorithms, again, that kind of show how much hash rate is put to each coin. Looks like on this day, Kosha, K-O-T-I-A, takes up a lot of that hash rate, a whole lot. Um, gold coin takes up a big chunk. Digibyte, of course, and Einsteinium. Einsteinium. So that's day two. So day three, day three I had both ASICs solo mining. So let's see what happened there. And it was just as nice outside, so it stayed pretty cool. Uh, so it looks like 0.77 on this day, this 24 hour period, two solo mining ASICs. And you can see a whole bunch of blocks, solo blocks were found. And then yeah, you can see the hash rate here. Uh, it's heavy on gold coin uh, and it's heavy on Einsteinium trying to trying to hit those solo blocks here. So then I, I went back and I was just going to do this for three days, but the first one it seemed off quite a bit. So I, I figured either like the ASICs needed to ramp up in order to, you know, fully start cooking. Uh, anyway, so I ran a fourth day uh, in both solo one solo one pool um just to get a better idea here and yeah one and a half flux uh that day so that's pretty nice you know it was it was nice out the settings stuck i, I didn't i didn't have to go in and reset the miner multiple times kind of thing it it kept going i think the difficulty tells a lot the difficulty of the different coins is going to tell a lot on how much you're going to yield as far you know at the end of the day so to speak that's where we're at this was obviously the best day so far you know we got to look at this a couple of different ways here yeah there's the different coins that it was mining and this this day was really heavy on digibyte it mined a whole bunch of digibyte on a, on solo as well as a pool mining you can see the different um the different ones there and then the different blocks that were found uh throughout that day so so uh so as we know i mean the, the right now in the bear market really nothing is profitable right we're again we're mining to get the that sweet cheddar that coin uh get a big you know moon bag that we can hold on to for the next couple of years i guess until it until a, another bull market comes along and wow i went fuzzy there we go and we can sell all the things and make a whole bunch of money so spec mining is kind of the name of the game right now the way i see it uh so my two l3s getting you know six to seven hundred mega hash per machine at about 950 watts so 1.2 to 1.5 giga hash uh at 1900 inch watts in script on zerg pool uh gets about one and a half flux a day average it looks like no matter how you do it if it's uh, you know solo or or whatever, but when I flip my entire farm to flux uh, I'm getting uh, Well, <laughs> I've got it written here that about 750 souls But the new lol miner came out recently and I'm getting over 800 souls now plus I added a card and it's getting closer to 900 souls by now the, uh, Yeah, 860 hashes because rave does that um, but 860 souls on the five workers um, and of course this definitely fluctuates flux fluctuates nice you see what i did there um but i mean as of this morning that was saying over three flux per day average you know three three fluxies a day with gpus or but about one and a half flux a day with ASICs, 1,900 to 2,000 watts for one and a half flux, 3,000 watts for three flux. This makes, this makes sense. 
the GPUs make sense. Um, they make flux, not sense. And I mean, at this rate anyway, it's going to take me a freaking year to get enough flux for a cumulus node anyway. Uh, that's if I mine it all and not buy some or trade somewhere. You feel me? Also got a hot tip about fluxpools.net. Uh, I think I might give that a try with some rigs, see how they run. I'm going to set up. In fact, I've already got them, got them all ready here. SSDs with uh, with Windows pre-installed. Gonna just swap those out on the rigs so I don't have to reinstall after I'm said and done. I'll just plug the Rave OS uh, drives back into it, and I could be back up where I was and give that a try. It looks like uh, it's got a higher yield than with two miners. I don't know. Uh, I might give it a try. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a video like that. Uh, doing a comparison or, or anything else when it comes to uh, mining flux, mining different algorithms, trying some new things out in this, uh, this bear market while we're waiting for profits to come back up. I mean, we're under a $20,000 Bitcoin and just over a $1,300 Ethereum at the moment, so it's the, uh, it's the old hurry up and wait game. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about mining, the, the profit switching mining with, uh, with ASICs and with, with different uh, hardware. I actually just got a uh, ASIC or uh, an Antminer D3 for, the guy pretty much gave it to me. Um, so I might do some, some videos on that as well and see uh, how, how it does mining flux with the D3 ASIC. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, thanks for watching.